I'm going to show you now how to automatically trade within BetAngel. By automatically trade, I mean complete automation. Um, switch it on in the morning, go away, come back to an absolutely massive pot of gold at the end of the day. <laughs> anyway, uh, you should have more realistic expectations than that. Um, and you should also use minimum stakes, test, all of those caveats I'm going to insert now. Um, but let me show you how you can automatically trade. Um, necessarily, I should advise extreme caution when you automatically trade because um, anything could happen. But nonetheless, um, it's something that I do and I recommend that it's something that you explore on BetAngel. So, if I go into the Excel area here, I've prepared a workbook and if I open the workbook here and connect, I'll talk you through uh, what you can see. This workbook is an auto trading bot we're using Greyhounds at the moment just for demonstration purposes to show you how it works. Um, but what we've, I've done is prepared the spreadsheet and I've also commented on a large number of parts here. So if you move your mouse over, in fact, let me, I need to disconnect it to, um, to bring it into full use. I've commented on each area of it so that you can understand how the spreadsheet is constructed. Um, but basically what it's doing is when you hit start and use this spreadsheet it's automatically going in it's resetting and clearing the status cells within BetAngel and this will allow you to continue to place orders through the spreadsheet function. What we do is we have the status area here to stop it from automatically firing in bets one after another without your command and what this spreadsheet does is monitors what's going on in the market waits for the right conditions i.e no existing bets in the market, that the status, um, that, that all of the bets have tidied up, and then it clears the status cell and allows another bet to go in. You do that by putting instructions um, within this area here, and you can put as many or as few in instructions that you like. This is where you have to put your coding skills to use or your logic skills to use. You would have to issue commands, but thanks to the way that we've done this, it's very easy to do. So you can see essentially uh, what the command is here is it saying back offset by one fill or kill delay and de and put a 20 second fill or kill delay on it. Uh, it's up to you how you want to do it but um, this spreadsheet should get you started. So what I need to do is connect to this market and if I go into Excel here and click connect then this will activate the spreadsheet and away we go. So we've told this spreadsheet that we're only going to be active on this market from two minutes out. So at the moment, um, let me check at the bottom of the screen here, about three minutes out. So it's not going to uh, come into use for a little while yet. But if I flick back to the screen, you can see it's monitoring how many seconds to the off we've got. So two minutes out is 120 seconds. We're saying start at 120 seconds, stop at 15. And it's going to count us down, tick tock away, and then it will fly into action at about two minutes. There's you can go to as much complexity as you like on this, but we've done quite a simple spreadsheet just to get you started. But what we've also done is we've used Guardian, because with Guardian you can get it to auto switch between markets all day. So we've loaded up all of the Greyhound markets in here. At 280 seconds it's going to switch into a market and then trade that market. And at the end of that it will green up and move on to the next market. At the end of that market it will green up and move on to the next market from there etc etc. So very powerful you can basically set it up with whatever instructions you like and then it will go off and trade all day for you automatically in the background. So if I flick back to um, the BetAngel screen you'll see it starts to uh, spring into action uh, without me touching it at all. So I stick my mouse up there, take my hands off the keyboard and at 120 seconds, two minutes, you'll see it place its first uh, automatic bet into the market. So we basically said to it, oh, you know, back at this price, um, offset it, there it goes, back at this price, offset it um, when it's filled, and, and then just do it again and again and again. It's just a, a simple demonstration of what you can do. So we've got an order sat here waiting at 5.6. Uh, when somebody comes along and lays at 5.6, it will offset that didn't get filled at 5.6 so it's cancelled that order on the fill or kill and placed it at 5.5. It's trying again. It's holding the orders at the moment for about 20 seconds um, and then it's cancelling from there. So if we don't get filled at 5.5 it's going to try again 
at 5.4. There we go. So you can see that um, with the fill or kill in place, it's just going to keep on trying to get filled on the reverse side. And if it can't get filled within 20 seconds, it will repeat the process. So we're just hoping that somebody comes along and is foolish enough to lay at 5.4. There we go. We've been filled at 5.4, so it automatically puts the bet back in at 5.3. Successfully achieved that, so it's now gone in at 5.7. If we can get filled at 5.7, it will offset that, but it hasn't so it's going to try again and put a new order in and this is all being done completely automatically via the spreadsheet so you can see we're not going to get filled at 5.8 so it's going to try again in a second it will cancel that order and, and try again but with almost 15 seconds if I just bring up this here um, so it's going to do no new bets now because we said 15 seconds from the off no new activity There we go. You can see that it's traded that market completely automatically without our intervention. Um, and what it will now do, because we're using Guardian, which is up here, it will automatically switch to the next market and perform the same thing again and again and again. And if we look at Guardian, you can see there are loads and loads of Greyhound races going on today, and it's going to do exactly the same on each one of those markets. So you need to be careful when you automate stuff but it's perfectly possible to automate and get BetAngel to trade for you uh, without your intervention.